Arcage 2 is a new upcoming MMORPG developed by Jake Song, developer of original Arcage. Recently we have seen that Arcage and Arcage Unchained have get a new publisher. From December 2nd, 2021, both of the games, Arcage Legacy and Arcage Unchained, globally are published by Kakao Games, instead of former publisher Gamigo. Since Arcage is again burning topic, I have decided to go into research and hunt for more information about Arcage 2. So in today's video, you will hear everything I have found out about it while I play Arcage on the new Kakao Games servers. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more MMORPG videos in the future. So first, let me show you a little bit around Arcage, actually Arcage Legacy. I am here on the new server and if you have never played Arcage before, I just want to show you a little bit. Arcage is one really beautiful game. I mean, it's an old game. This is Cry Engine free game, right? So you cannot, I mean, you cannot expect something amazing from these graphics, but uh, look at this. Let me show you a little bit uh, how is character looking. This is looking really nice, right? Look at this shield. So for one old game, for one really old MMORPG, graphics are actually looking pretty decent. But let's talk more about Arcage 2, because if you are interested regarding Arcage Legacy and Arcage Unchained, you can already check lots of videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, with this uh, change of a publisher to Kakao Games, I have made a few videos regarding data transfer, in-game changes and other things, like for example, change of a business model. That is probably the biggest change regarding Arcage Unchained. Arcage Legacy have remained free to play game. However, Arcage Unchained is not anymore buy to play game. It's now basically subscription based model game. But now let's check what is happening with Arcage 2. What did I found out? So first interesting thing which I have found out about Arcage 2 is actually pretty positive thing. Arcage 2 is going to be built entirely on Unreal Engine 5. That is for sure a positive thing. And uh, well, look, imagine when they would build Arcage 2 on Unreal Engine 4. That would be really bad because until release, we still have probably at least two years. I will talk about that a little bit later. So imagine you see in 2023 or in 2024, some MMORPG released, published, which was built on Unreal Engine 4. That would be really a bad thing. So Unreal Engine 5, this is really good information. That is official information we have get. So they're building Arcage 2 on Unreal Engine 5. There were about 40 to 50 staff members working on the game in the May of 2021, but probably much more developers are working on it right now. So that information I have also find uh, while I was researching. So 40 to 50 staff members, that is actually not that much. For development of one huge PC MMORPG, you need much more developers. So I have no doubt by now when I'm making this video is end of 2021, they have much more developers working on it. Arcage 2 will take place in entirely different time period and be set in a parallel dimension. Okay, that sounds interesting. Arcage 2 will feature brand new classes that were seen in the original artwork for Arcage but were never implemented. That is actually one interesting information here. So brand new classes that were seen in original artwork but they were never implemented. That sounds also pretty interesting. Okay, that mob died really fast. Let's go further. What did I find out? While the story of Arcage is about a life of Harania East Continent and Nuya West Continent, Arcage 2 will be mainly about founding and settling on Auroria North Continent, the original homeland of humans, elves and dwarves. This will take place 2000 years before the current story, which makes Arcage 2 a prequel in terms of lore. 
This sounds actually pretty amazing, right? So we are going back 2000 years before the current story, which makes Arc Age 2 prequel to the Arc Age. And we are focusing on Auroria, North Continent, the original homeland of humans, elves and dwarves. The theme of Arc Age 2 will remain the same as Arc Age, which is exploration. This is also beautiful to see, because I know that many of you like to do this in a huge open worlds, in uh, other MMORPGs also, to explore. Okay, let's see further what did I find out. The many features of Arc Age... Whoa, whoa, okay, this is big one. This is big one. I'm not going to attack this one. Because uh, currently I'm mostly focused on talking about Arc Age 2, right? Okay, so what else did I find out? The many features of Arc Age have weak connections, okay? And the aim is to connect them closer in Arc Age 2 in different groups. For example, features as trading, player housing, farming, crafting, etc. will be a group which synergized with each other. Okay, so they are connecting more trading, player housing, farming and crafting. Well, that sounds good. I mean, to connect these uh, features of the game all together, right? Okay, sounds good. As mentioned earlier, the story will focus on Auroria, North Continent. So there will not be any war between Harania, East Continent and Nuia, West Continent. Instead, all wars will take place on a large continent. Does that mean that we will not have any factions? Or not? I mean, if we will not have war between East and the West, it doesn't necessarily mean that we will not have factions. Of course, there is always possibility for that. And I hope that we will have factions because RVR content, that is actually huge part of content of any MMORPG. So factions, that would be a positive thing. While the feature has yet to be confirmed, the development team is testing several new player housing ideas, including a township system. Township system, hmm, okay, sounds good, right? There were some races in the original Arc Age artwork which were not added into the game, so we will probably see them now. Regarding a release date, I know that you are probably interested about that because that is actually the main question. When, right? Regarding a release date of Arc Age 2, I didn't find any official information, but unofficially, looks like that we will see a release of Arc Age 2 somewhere in 2024, not before. But think about this a little bit, right? Uh, this is kind of logical. Right? This is not a surprise, because we all know that development of new MMORPGs takes a lot of time. So, how can you even develop AAA quality PC MMORPG in, let's say, one year or two years? That is hardly possible. So, probably developers will need at least two or three years time. Maybe we will see on the end of 2023 some kind of testing phase. That wouldn't be strange. However, real, full release of the game, I doubt we will see before 2024. So until 2024, we can only follow all information, everything new, what we are getting from developers. When I see some new information, of course, I will let you know about that instantly. I'm following everything what is happening regarding MMORPG gaming world, and my main focus are new upcoming MMORPGs. So when I see something interesting is happening with new MMORPGs like Arc Age 2, I will let you know about that instantly here on my YouTube channel. Regarding Arc Age 2, as you can see, I didn't find uh, too many information. These informations are all I have managed to find. At least, I mean, there are some rumors, unofficial information, but that's better not even to explore. Like I said, these informations which you have heard in today's video are basically official information which we have so far about Arc Age 2. Everything we have. When I see something new is happening, you will see new video about it on my YouTube channel. Let me know in the comments below video, would you play Arc Age 2 after release, whenever that will be, in 2023, 2024, whenever, right? Would you play Arc Age 2? And of course, did you ever try to play Arc Age? And how do you like this MMORPG?
Thank you for watching the video and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more Arcade 2 and other new MMORPG videos in the future. See you soon.